Hey everyone, welcome to another video in my Building Message Driven Systems playlist. This time we're going to be looking at some code. We're going to see how we can send a message to a queue on Azure Service Bus. So I'm going to dive straight in. I'll swap over to Visual Studio. Right, so we find ourselves now in Visual Studio. We have a brand new console application for .NET 5. Uh, it's just a simple Hello World application right now, but this is where we're going to write our logic to uh, to read and write for the Service Bus or to send a message to Service Bus at first. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on the project to manage NuGet packages, search for azure.servicebus. I find Microsoft Azure Service Bus there, so I can install that uh, NuGet package, say OK to the licenses and things, uh, and then come back here. And so now we're ready to kind of get started. So I'll change my, uh, my console right line to say starting Azure Service Bus demo. And then the first kind of the, the main thing we're going to use when we want to send to a queue uh, is a class called a queue client, which is in Microsoft Azure Service Bus. So we'll bring that namespace at the top, Microsoft Azure Service Bus. Um, so a queue client uh, has a few different kind of construct constructor options here. So we've got one that takes in a service bus connection, one that takes in a, a service bus connection string builder, one that takes a connection string, one that takes just an endpoint. Um, so we're going to use the one that takes in a connection string. So first off, I'm going to need to go to the Azure portal to get that connection string. So here's a service bus that I've already set up uh, kind of before. This is just the overview. The easiest way to get the connection string is go to the shared access policies. Um, you can add a new shared access policy or you can pick one that's there already. This root manage shared access key will be there first. Uh, but I've added one called send demo. Uh, I click on that and then I'll get this primary connection string option so I can copy that to the clipboard. Uh, jump back to Visual Studio and paste that into the string. So that gives me the full connection string. Uh, the next thing I'll need is the entity path. And so that is basically the path to the topic or the queue that we're going to send to. So if I come down here to queues, I've got one set up already called demo queue. Uh, and so I can just come back here and type in demo queue. Uh, and that's effectively uh, enough. There's a couple other things that I need to put in there, a receive mode, peak clock, or receive and delete. If we're only sending, uh, this doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll do receive and delete uh, for simplicity. And then we'll put in the default retry policy that we have to send. And so that's really great. That's it for creating our, our queue client. Uh, the next option, the next thing we have to do uh, is send a message. So there's a send async method that's on our client, uh, which takes in a message. Uh, and so we can do new message and see what that takes. Uh, and that takes in a byte array. Um, so we're going to need to go grab ourselves a byte array. Um, the easiest way to do that, um, uh, make a variable called our message. I'm going to use the system text encoding uh, UTF-8 class uh, to get the bytes of a string. And so I'm going to say hello world as my string. Uh, and so that's going to make this, uh, it's going to convert that to a byte array, and then I can pass that byte array into the message here, our message. Perfect. Now this is uh, an async, so I need to await that, uh, which means my main needs to be an async and return a task. Uh, and that's basically it. That's all, the, that's all the code that we need. So if I run this application now, uh, first off, what I'll quickly show you, uh, if we click on this demo queue, then we get the kind of queue overview that you see in Azure Service Bus. Uh, there's this active message uh, count here, um, which shows a zero. If I run this application now, it's going to send that message to Service Bus. So it should come up, say starting the Service Bus demo, uh, and then it ends. And so that should have sent our message. So we can come over to our Azure portal. We can hit refresh, and now active messages shows as one. So that message is now in that queue, waiting for someone to come pick it up. Uh, hopefully you found that kind of useful. It's pretty easy to send a message to Service Bus. There are some details, uh, when we, especially when we get into receiving, when we want to talk, send about things reliably, we want to use topics and stuff like that. So there's more stuff to explore. Uh, and so come back and check out those videos. Um, hopefully you like this one. Please, uh, please like, please subscribe. Uh, you can turn on notifications for finding out when those other videos come. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Bye.